Humans have a really important role in cooperating with technologies. It's very, very important that we think about technologies critically. We shape them and they shape us as well. How our human society looks depends so much on the decisions of software developers and tech developers. It's important to have confidence and curiosity, but also critical approaches to what they do. The School of Information at the University of Arizona is an interesting conglomeration of technology and humanity kind of studies. The world of coding is, I would say, it's kind of big and daunting to people who don't know that much about it. it. It's almost like magic if you think about it. There's so many different opportunities that coding can open up and just just what I'm doing I think is just making um, the uh, experience of coding and the experience of working in like a data science centric job just making it that much more open to people who may not have even considered it for themselves. So I have learned a lot, like just some programming languages like Python, SQL, Java, JavaScript, and C. Yeah, so the thing that I love code is it can analyze data really good. Yeah, I often use Python and R and SQL either to analyze data. We can always control them. We can always manage the data. Computer is the future. Yeah, you cannot do anything without computer now. Especially calculating something really like a large number, then you probably need a computer to calculate it for you. You can write code to make the computer to do what you want to do. The information science degree really stood out to me even before I started taking classes because they were offering courses specifically in information science and the arts. So I took a couple, the information and multimedia design class, um, and that was a really good sort of intro to filmmaking and piqued my interest in doing more on the on the film side and like this, the, me, the media side. Um, I also think that sort of my core coding classes are setting me up to be able to do a lot more here now. Processing coding language, I can sort of apply my, my coding knowledge to that and then tur turn around and, and apply that back um, to integrating it all with dance. I wanted something that connected to the library science while also connecting to my background with my undergrad was art history, so that it turned out to be digital preservation. What that means is taking dozens of photos of every angle of one object uh, and then putting it through software uh, called photogrammetry and it outputs a 3D model that can then be accessible to anyone across the country or across the world. Um, so the skills I've come up with or I've gotten as I've been part of this program um, really have been research oriented and database. Um, even though I've been at the library for 15 years, I really didn't do a lot of research in the early days. So taking library school, I've actually learned a lot from that by um, taking those classes and then that's helped me grow in my position as a reference desk person and future you know, reference librarian and things like that. So it's really helped me a lot. It's actually helped me directly in my line of work now since I moved over to that as soon as I joined that department and started doing library school. 